Exercise as medicine has been promoted by the American College of Sports Medicine within the last two years primarily with the concept that many disease processes are affected by exercise and in fact exercise may be the most important medicine of all. It certainly should be the initial uh, way of dealing with uh, diabetes uh, along with diet and appropriate balanced diet. The traditional definition of physical fitness is the ability to do one's daily tasks without undue fatigue at the end of the day. We're actually hoping for much more than that in today's age when cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and obesity are real problems in our society. Physical fitness is the amount of exercise that it takes to reduce cardiovascular disease, delay atherosclerosis, uh, decrease obesity, maintain weight, which in turn decreases uh, the incidence of diabetes as well as other health problems. Uh, some of the physical benefits include increased cardiovascular uh, fitness, decreased cardiovascular disease, delayed cardiovascular disease, increased ability to do tasks of daily living, increased strength, you can open jars, you can do other things as well, and you feel better. It's amazing how many people uh, will come in after starting an exercise program and express how much better they feel. They don't need as much sleep, uh, they get more done, they can concentrate better, and it is just almost universal when people start exercising. Many people will try to do too much too quickly because in our society instant results are desired and therefore uh, people do too much too fast and get discouraged. The keys to a sustained exercise program is one, the desire to really be physically fit and experiencing enough to gain some of the benefits, both psychological aspects of feeling better, increased energy, less fatigue, uh, able to concentrate better. But again, the real keys are putting it into one's daily routine, and that is part of what you do every day, just like eating and sleeping. For some people, it works first thing in the morning because that's when they have time. I don't work well at that time. It takes me a longer time to warm up. Therefore, my exercise time is at the end of the day when I, it may be more variable, but it, it can be more predictable in time. But the key is, a time every day that works for you. For some people, it might even change from day to day, but at the beginning of every day, there should be a plan as to when that exercise fits in. There are many ways in which one can work physical activity into one's daily routine that may not be an exercise workout period of time, such as taking the stairs uh, instead of the elevator, parking in the far corners of the parking lot, uh, walking the long way around when you go someplace, walking more rapidly, getting one's heart rate up. But one of the most important exercises in preventing weight gain during the winter months is simply pushing away from the table. Uh, it is a difficult task, but it can be accomplished. Um, the other aspect is to make sure you're eating a balanced diet with plenty of vegetables within the diet, as well as fruits, uh, lean meats, uh, poultry, fish, uh, and some carbohydrate. 